Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Tuesday, December 21st. Apparently 27 degrees. It's going up to 45. So I've noticed um, my good buddy Ben, Unicorn Piper, um, yesterday was like, yeah, where's my daily drive video? And I was like, huh? I posted that sucker at like 8.30 in the morning. I went in and I was like, I can see it, but it's, there's no views. And I was like, that's weird. And I was messing around and I saw that it was, it was marked private. Um, and then I realized the video I did on Friday with the Elf Danger from Watch City was also more private. No idea how that happened. I guess somehow it must have inadvertently uh, made my videos private. Weird. So I, uh, you know, made them public and and then shared it. So. That was, that was weird. Don't know how that happened. So I apologize if Friday and yesterday you were looking for your normal video and it wasn't up when it was. If it wasn't, honestly, if it wasn't for Ben, I don't know. I would have probably eventually figured it out, but I kind of thought it was weird that I didn't have any comments, but I didn't think it, I didn't think anything of it, you know? I've just been busy, so. It's hard enough for me to keep up with comments as is, so uh, yeah. So I'll make sure that today's video is uh, is not more private. So anyway, uh, today I am uh, I'm smoking my newly acquired Radice rind silk cut. I'm sorry, it's a silk cut, not a rind. Silk Cut Reverse Calabash. Uh, it's got amazing ring grain on this thing. You can see that. It's got such a... I love how the accent piece, the accent wood stands out. It's like super, super bright. It's just an amazing pipe. Um, it's, uh, it's, very, it's, it's very short, but it's uh, super chunky. It's got a huge bowl on it, which I love. It's like a stack thing smokes so I mean I smoked this thing for a couple hours last night and if I had more time I, I easily could have smoked it for another probably 45 minutes to an hour I think I could probably get three three hours out of this thing um, so yeah it's uh it's awesome uh it's supposed to be here Friday it got held up like I was saying yesterday um so that was unfortunate, but you know, I got some pipes. Uh, I got a few pipes last week, so it kind of made it nice to get one on Monday. It's my first reverse Calabash. I've never had one. Um, I like the way it smokes. I didn't have any issues with like excess moisture in the chamber or anything like that. Um, smokes nice and cool and in it today I'm smoking some uh, Cornell and Deal Bayou Morning which is a Virginia Perique um, I actually stole some I think I have some of this um, I jacked some out of, uh, I just sent Tyler, Tyler Edwards, um, some blends. <laughs> he was, uh, looking for some flakes and different, um, different blends. So I jacked this out of a bag that, uh, uh, Sergio had sent and I'm going to send some blends off to him. Sergio sent me another box yesterday with like another 20 blends. It's just crazy. So I'm 
doing my best to just distribute them amongst people. And I have a bunch, a ton left that we're going to give out if we ever get our shit together in the NAPS, uh, NAPS community <clears throat> and give, give these things away or whenever we hit a certain milestone, whatever it is. But... This is pretty good, um, you know, it's, uh, to me it's nothing really special, I can take it or leave it, um, I don't get the, the sweetness that I like, this sweet, sour, tangy, like, the stone fruit type of parique, a little spicier, I would say, it's on the spicy side of, uh, the parique spectrum. bad, but it's definitely, you know, nothing I would, I would sell her. Now, if you like spicier Perique blends, vapors, you might like this. Definitely has some rough edges, I think. I don't know how old this, this, uh, this tin is. My guess would be that it's fairly fresh. I was having this conversation uh, yesterday with a couple people about Radice's. Um, I mean, you you honestly anywhere in, in the in my opinion in the anywhere if you're looking for a pipe anywhere in the community. You can't get the quality of craftsmanship and the um, the value that more than a Radice has. I mean, it's 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 essentially a handcrafted pipe. It's made by you know Luigi and I think his two sons. Uh, so it's a three man team. They they do everything by hand. Um, it, they smoke great. They're, they're awesome, they're beautiful pipes, all their finishes are amazing, the shaping is, is iconic, they're just really fantastic pipe carvers, and you know, to get, you can get into one for, a new one I should say, for a hundred and, anywhere from like 175 bucks, and they go up for their higher end ones, but I don't think I've ever seen one I think the most expensive one I bought was the 40th anniversary pipe, which I think was like around 300 bucks. But it came with like a leather case, a beautiful leather case. It has like silver, you know, a silver band on it. Um, it's like a it's special, you know, one of their special pipes. I think it was like 300 bucks or like 320 or something. But that's like, that's the highest they'll go. So. You know, for that kind of price, to me, you're getting almost the same quality as a Costello. The only thing that, that I think Costello has that's really noticeable is their briar. Their briar quality is better. It's aged. It's a lot older. Um, so from that perspective, you know, and there's definitely some, some higher end finishes in Costello for sure. But... You know, if you can get a, a Radice that smokes just as good as a Costello for the most part, um, for two thirds of the price, sometimes half the price, it's really a no brainer. So, you know, if you're smoking Savinelli's or Peterson's and you know, you want to take your the next step up to, you know, like a handmade pipe without going to like the individual carver, you know, expensive route um, you know I would say the next step in that evolution would be go to a Radice um, Costello's are more of a factory made pipe um, but they're, they're you know they are carved by hand so it's like you use that term factory with Costello in like a loose loose terms um, 
you know, obviously I'm all about supporting smaller carvers as well. That's another way you get great value. But if you're looking for something you can go online and buy, you know, buy in a, in a store on smoking pipes or tobaccopipes.com or anything like that, um, then I think DJ is a great place to, to start. And I love the reverse calabash. First one I've had. I didn't get any, like a lot of moisture build up in the in the chamber. Um, and yeah, by the morning's not bad. I mean, it's yeah. If you like spicier vapors? I think you might like it. It's cheap. I think it's available in bulk too. So I got the sad news today that um, a friend of mine, uh, a police officer here in the Havertown Police Department, Sergeant, I think he was 27 years, passed away from COVID. Um, I've known him my whole life. He, he grew up across the street. His parents grew up across the street from me. Um, he worked for my old boss at my business now, which technically is my business. It, it was when it was a gas station back before we moved locations and well long before I took it over. Um, and I just saw, you know, we, we had our differences. I mean, when I was uh, got headed down the wrong path in life, doing things I shouldn't have been doing, um, we didn't obviously see eye to eye. And, um, you know, we, we butted heads. And, and you know, it, it, it was what it was and then when I started working for my boss 20 years ago um, you know he had worked there for for a while while he was in the academy and and I would see him a lot and you know we were you know pretty standoffish in the beginning and then we became friends and and uh, I saw the last time I saw him actually was before Thanksgiving I was I went over to one of the local establishments to uh, to get Thanksgiving stuff, and uh, he was he was out there uh, in places to do. He was directing traffic and stuff, and and uh, he told me that you know he was proud of me, and you know where I was and, and where I am now, and um, just had some kind words to say, you know, and and it was uh, it it was touching. And then this morning I woke up and I saw that he had contracted COVID uh, last Monday, and. Um, Went in, went into, or went into hospital Monday in an ambulance because he couldn't breathe. Then he was put on a ventilator on Saturday. Started to go into kidney failure. Apparently, he started to get a little better Sunday, and then just downhill slide and, and passed away yesterday. Um, unvaccinated, which you know I, I know four people, and I'm not. This isn't a political thing. This is, I'm not preaching to anybody, but um, you know. It just doesn't make sense to not get vaccinated. You know, it doesn't have to be a political thing. I know four people in their 40s and 50s, healthy people, you know, nothing really that would, would to me, would make them like, oh, that guy's going to die if he gets COVID. And uh, the four of them have died. You know, everybody I know that's been in the hospital or has died is unvaccinated. Everybody I know that was vaccinated that got it, you know, it was nothing worse than, more, you know, than like a bad cold or, you know. So it's like the science is there, regardless of what you're, you know, what you believe in politically, you know, whether you're the left, the right, the middle, it, it doesn't have to be a political thing. You know, I mean, people willingly take the polio vaccine and the smallpox vaccine and all these other vaccines. But because of the times we live in now, people want to politicize this vaccine and it's just stupid to me especially if you're a father or a husband you know I was talking to a good buddy of mine and he's like it's basically like committing suicide he's like you know you, you leave your family to pick up the pieces and shambles all because you're being selfish and didn't want to get vaccinated it's like look even if I wasn't like a, you know real big on it in the beginning I did it because I'm a father of four I'm a business owner I have employees I have a lot of people that depend on me if I if I go a lot of people's lives are affected, and that's not 
trying to like brag or anything. That's just the facts. So to me, you know, I did it to to safeguard the people that 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 I care about and that I love and my friends and family that depend on me. It's just the right thing to do. You know, your chances of dying from getting the vaccine are slim to almost none. Chances of dying of getting COVID or having like long-term problems is, is pretty good. So, you know, just get the vaccine. I don't want to see anybody die. That I don't, I don't ever want to see somebody, somebody's death that could have been prevented. It's just, it's sad. It's, it, 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 it's heartbreaking and it's just not not worth it you know just to say you know what f joe biden you can say f joe biden that's fine but you know if that's your thing like but whatever like just get vaccinated it doesn't have to be political man it's stupid but anyway end of that route rant route um but yeah so that was sad you know uh member of the community who served our community for almost three decades gone and it could have been prevented so it's just a shame he's got two kids he leaves behind a wife it's sad but anyway um on a on a on a brighter note um right before christmas too man like a, like the week of christmas like uh it's horrible uh, but anyway speaking of yeah i'm, I'm getting pumped it, you know a few more days got a few more days of work um Christmas right around the corner. It's going to be great. Got all the gifts wrapped and everything. So I hope everybody's having a great week. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's being safe. Um, yeah, Radice's. If you don't have one, I can't recommend them enough. Um, I'll be smoking the crap out of this thing for, for, for a good while. Um, along with my other Radice's. And, uh, yeah, guys, you guys have a great day. Have a great Tuesday. I'll talk to you on the next one. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.